Well, folks, I finally got it back together. And I think it's got a low battery. But... It starts. I think the battery is about gone. And it runs, although it's got a squeaky belt for pulley. But my customer did not want to replace that. Uh, got valve train noise, but I think that's why they have an engine cover. It's to uh, fix it where you can't hear it. <laughs> idle's nice and slow so uh, I'm gonna plug the scanner in it and go for a drive see what happens there's no check engine light which is a good thing the tires are boy they're pretty low so I'm not gonna go very far 19 to 20 pounds then one ain't working at all yeah, No check engine lights I took it for a drive And it's got good power But it seems like it doesn't want to idle back down normally the air conditioners not coming on and uh, What else oh as you're driving it all the uh, Sensors for traction control and ABS that comes on when you're driving it And also it has a flashing check engine light with a trouble code it indicates misfire on number three cylinder The exact cylinder that I've been working on or working to fix So I don't know what to do about it. It's not missing at idle if it is, it's very, very lightly. But, uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to piddle with it some more. Yeah, I use the word piddle. Oh, well. That's the update on this. I used the uh, new camshaft and the old head. And started right up. Run good. Except for these minor issues here that... Uh, you know, I think the idling down might be the maybe the throttle body it's an electrical throttle body I don't think it has an IAC motor out of control uh, motor so I just don't know I'll look into it I do check out the throttle position sensor on this meter and as I give it fuel the throttle position sensor my foot was off the gas and it just kept running. Throttle position sensor B. That responds. And just goes back down slowly. Maybe it's dirty. Maybe I can spray some cleaner in there. I'll try that. I have to get some cleaner tomorrow. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Oh, there's that check engine light. There it is. Yep. Flashing, see? Now, what we're going to do here. Trouble codes. None. It's flashing a check engine light. And no trouble codes are showing up. Interesting. does have a low battery but it uh, live data shows that uh, it 
it's got a ton of stuff this thing reads. Well, where is it? It does voltage. Good grief. ECU voltage 14. So the alternator's charging it. But let's turn this fan on. You kill it. You gotta restart it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Finally starts. I think the battery's a kind of a goner. Alright, like I say, thanks for watching. Look, now the check engine light's not flashing. Doesn't like to return from idle. I'm gonna give it a bunch of fuel. There it is again. And let off of it. And it's just slow to return. I'm going to clean the throttle body and see if that helps it. It may solve all the problems. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Oh, now it's kind of missing. How about that? All of a sudden, even the lights are pulsing. It's struggling. All right, bye. Well, here's the end of the story for the Dodge Nitro. I did finally get it going. Sorry about all this noise. Driving this big truck down the road. I did get the thing running right. I cleaned the throttle body and then I took it for a good hard drive. That thing straightened out. Started running good. No more flashing light. It returned to idle good. So I loaded up.